leaders of several public high school districts and post-secondary institutions in Southern Cook County, Illinois, have entered into a collective to expand the instructional options for their students. They are proposing a Southland Career and Technical Education Center in Park Forest, Illinois, to provide career and technical education instructional programs in several technology-intensive occupations. Such a project has not been proposed in Illinois in more than 45 years. A group of educators, 15 of us, uh, I have no idea how many years we've been in the business collectively, but we know that there is a need for a vocational concept, but we also know that if each of us invests money in this venture, then it would be money wasted. What about a collaborative? What about a partnership? You know, aviation, you know, just like technology, it's spreading, it's spreading, it's spreading. And we thought uh, we could not just teach um, the concept of um, aviation from the point of view of mechanics. What if we looked at all those service-related positions? What if we looked at either also some preliminary uh, kinds of training for pilots? What if we expanded the dream that our children have? What if we looked at this dream and looked four years, eight years from now, and looked at our students in well-paying jobs? But if we're gonna do that, we need to do it now. We need to do it now. This is a time sensitive initiative. A career and tech ed center is needed in the Southland because we have families, students, and a community that has the workforce, the knowledge, the will, and the power to really provide a stable group of workers, um, not only to our community, but to the region, uh, to the state of Illinois, and possibly nationally. There's a sense of urgency uh, to really get this project done um, because our students, need a, a, a place where they can have viable income post-secondary and can make a knowledgeable decision about what their future looks like. As a collective group of superintendents, our schools represent over 10,000 students that would be available for the immediate workforce. We're really excited about our urban agricultural program, uh, really working hard to teach our students not only how to grow food, but also the distribution part of growing, moving food from the farm to the table. And by showing these individuals not only how to grow and create a distribution chain, we're also uh, working with them to become entrepreneurs uh, in the industry of, of agriculture. The benefit of having this program right now is that our students are ready, they are eager. Right now, our school district can only offer a few of these types of programs. Our students need to network with other students in these communities to find ways to connect with them. They have similar interests and they certainly have these ideas to share with other students. We need to reestablish many of the, the jobs that have been lost based on the pandemic. The benefit of having a corporate partner is allowing businesses to be good stewards for the communities that they serve in. But more importantly, it's giving an opportunity for them to start grooming and recruiting the employees of tomorrow for their businesses. Our mission is that all SC Tech students are successful. They are ready to face the challenges of everyday life by personalizing their educational needs and by doing so, meeting the needs of Illinois, the nation, and the world. So the Career Technical Center is important to the Southland because of its uh, the high need for these jobs and this kind of uh, workforce development. So uh, we know that the jobs of the future, the jobs that are highest demand for our community, uh, are the jobs that the center will serve and teach towards. So it's important that we partner with this center uh, to really make it a reality for the Southland. Uh, these are jobs that pay well, that you can earn a certificate in, credentials in, and be able to move forward into the workforce. And that's important for the Southland. So Prairie State is committed to the community's well-being as much as our very own. So the reality is the center will provide programs, some of which are supplementary, some are complementary. So there's some programs that we don't offer uh, that the center will be able to offer. And many of the programs will stack with credentials that we offer here. Uh, the pandemic changed everything. Uh, and because we have not had this, uh, this kind of uh, center and activity in the Southland in so long, in many decades, given the change in needs of people who are, who are deciding what to do next with their career, decide for people who are retooling, trying to figure out what's next, 
Um, the reality is that we for a long time have had employers uh, who, who receive our students say that sometimes they have the technical skills, but maybe not the, the, those critical skills around communication and uh, some of those other hard skills that, that sometimes get overlooked, right? Uh, or it's the other way, right? They, they have some of those skills, but they, they need additional training and kind of uh, a development in particular, particular areas. So corporate partners uh, and workforce partners help us design the curriculum that's gonna meet their needs. So manufacturing and logistics uh, continue to be a growing uh, sector of this economy within the Southland. Um, it's really important to Prairie State that we have options to get students uh, in a pipeline uh, to, 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 again, stack credentials, improve their skills, and ultimately serve the workforce. Uh, a regional center will provide a much more robust opportunity for our students. For instance, we have building construction, so I'm interested in making sure that our students are afforded an opportunity to earn a license or certificate so that when they walk out of our doors, they are ready to go to work. We cannot wait. Our students are coming to us and we want to make sure that before they leave, they are completely equipped for the workforce. Right now, there's a need to recruit and hire police officers. And so one of the aspects of this regional center will be preparing our students to serve as public servants. That right there, is, it will benefit not only the student, but the whole community. All students may not go to college, may not be able to afford college, and that's okay. I'm an advocate for academics, I'm an advocate for college, but I'm also equally an advocate for a career. You know, over the last number of years, there's been a great push for students to go right from high school into college. Um, I think at this juncture, there's a great opportunity for kids to go directly into careers. And in terms of having the knowledge and the skills to prepare them to do that, I believe a career in Tech Center is the key to making that happen for our students. Together, we have a much better uh, force, if you would, in terms of providing a much wider variety of opportunities for the students. Collectively, we have a bigger punch, if you would, in terms of providing resources and the skills and the training that will put our students at the front of the line. As you know, we're getting to a point where the baby boomers, and I happen to be one of those, are retiring. So we're going to have a lot of mass retirement, and with that goes a huge knowledge base in terms of the actual jobs and the workers who have worked in those jobs for so many years and we do need to replenish that workforce and we need to replenish that workforce with a very talented group of students and I think those students then becoming employees is what this career center can offer. It's not just about going to college anymore. Our students now can make almost the same amounts of monies as those students who actually come out of college with a degree and I think one of the big trade-offs is the fact that there's not a lot of student debt. You know, there's a great head start for these students and I think in terms of equaling the output of our students with college degrees, they will get there and they will match and I think it's a great opportunity moving forward.